Welcome back YouTube to the Honda Ruckus build series episode 2. If you've never built a Honda Ruckus before or you're looking to, you gotta watch this video. I'm basically showing you how to do it. Last week in episode 1, if you haven't watched it, we installed the short wheel axle and uh, mounted up the exhaust and kind of got the wheel ready to go. This week we're going to start working towards getting that motor installed. Check it out. Remember we switched this uh, intake manifold to go forward. We're gonna, if you notice on your carburetor, this little inlet here, that's gonna be plugged in there. And that plugs into the inlet on your um, intake manifold. If you have two on your manifold, which you probably will, there's gonna be a T fitting and you just go two into one there. So push that guy in, just like that. And then I'll just run my, uh, my line through here, and then tighten your uh, the clamp on your intake. This intake's a little bit different than what you'll get. Yours will just be a black one. This is your drain for your uh, carburetor, so like in the season when you're not riding it, just unscrew that. But we need to mount that. And I like to mount that like here. Pull this little cap off here, and you're going to install your uni air filter. The, the filter's slightly angled so you can move it around if you're, whatever works best for you. You just do it nice and snug, it doesn't need to be that tight. Now you're probably looking at this going, this thing is like angled back pretty far. Um, yeah it is, but never had any problems with it choking out or anything like that. If you don't like that, they do sell spacers. I think Composmo makes a spacer, and that'll lift it up, and it won't be like that. So, but never had any problems. All right, now this is how to install a 11 pole stator on GY6. Right now, it's got the eight pole. Here's how you can tell the difference. Uh, six or eight pole. It's going to have uh, three wires going into a four wire plug, and these are for your CDI kill switch and pickup. Eleven pull, you're going to have three yellow wires, that's the number one thing, three yellow wires and a green wire, and then uh, pick up and kill. So first thing we're going to do is remove this cover here. Eight millimeter here, eight millimeter here, eight millimeter here, another eight millimeter down here, and now You've got your fan, more eight millimeters. All right, now here's your pickup. This guy right here, um, that's actually the blue wire here. That's gonna be uh, the, the signal. Every time this engine spins over, there's a magnet here. When that magnet spins past there, it tells the engine when to spark. That blue wire is your pickup, so we could actually take that off too. Those are eight millimeters. And see that pulls loose, and then we we'll need a 17 millimeter, which I have here. Loosen that. Then you're going to need a puller. We have these on our website, and. Just loosen it so that this guy's all the way out. And it's a reverse thread, so I'm, I'm basically spinning it backwards, lefty, to tighten. And then this one is a 19 millimeter on this puller. Some, some of them are different. Um, it doesn't take much, just gonna hit it, and then this will pull this magneto off, just like that. I actually did this the other day, so I, I knew I was gonna redo it, but I'm doing this video to show you. Okay. Pull that out of the way. And we've got two more eight millimeters. That's the eight pull stator, by the way. You can pull that off. Then you've got this little brace that protects the wires. These are really long bolts here. Like that. Now we can pull this guy out. All 
and we are ready for our 11 pull stator. So make sure the wires are going behind the stator. You can do it two ways. The wires are going behind the stator. Just like that. I get these started. Gotta get them lined up here. Get them hand started first, of course. And now you can run this guy into the little cutout here. Goes in there. Now we need our little... This guy here protects the wires from the magneto so it doesn't rub through. That's its main purpose. Now, you gotta tuck this guy back a little ways. And you can put your pickup back on. Again, hand starting these eight millimeter um, screws. You wanna make sure that whenever you tighten, you don't have any wires pinched behind. So I kinda like, I'll get it ready and push it, you know, with my finger. like that. Now you want to put your magneto back on. There's a washer that, behind the magneto there. I'll take that out. Notice here there's this little cutout, this this key. There's a key on the, the crank here. You have to line that up. So make sure that's lined up. That's a must. Otherwise you're gonna have big problems. Okay, put the uh, washer back on and then the uh, 17 millimeter nut. Impact it on. Okay. I always like to spin it past the magnet here. With the there's a magnet, two magnets, or a piece of metal and a magnet. Move it. Make sure it's not like gonna hit. Sometimes you, they'll hit. So there's that, and we'll we'll get this fan put back on. Just line them up. Got to make sure one thing that you don't get these screws mixed up on the fan because you notice how they they only go back through a little bit. If you go too far, if you have the wrong screw in there and you screw it down, that screw is going to, every time it turns, it's going to eat right into the stator. So make sure you're using the right screws. I've done that before. Not fun. Once you've got the fan on, you're pretty much ready to put this guy back on. There is this little... Uh, intake, make sure that slides into place there. These little, just like that, oh, like that. And then your, your wires need to be pinched in there. I'll just hold it in place while I get one started. And get one screw in there, you're, you're pretty good. Almost, let's see. Get that halfway in. Let me get the other one started underneath here. Just like that. And finally, your screws. Actually, I don't think I have this in right. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that loose until I get these. These will strip really easy, so just nice and lightly snug. I shouldn't even be using an impact, but I've done it a million times. I know how tight they're supposed to be. So, good. Then we've got our 11 pulse uh, stator installed. Okay, I wanna recap what I've done in order to get this motor ready to install in the Honda Ruckus. I've got the exhaust installed, the wheel I painted, which we should powder coat it. I've um, got the hub on there, installed the short wheel axle, flipped the um, air intake around, intake manifold, um, installed the carburetor, installed the pod filter. Um, and then I grinded down this tab, which now I need to repaint it. So I recommend fitting it all on before you paint it. Um, grind this tab so that we're not rubbing. And we're good there. Installed the 11 pole stator. 
and we are ready to install this motor in this Honda Ruckus. Over here. We gotta pull the motor first though. All right, so we got the 50cc Ruckus here. We're gonna pull the motor out of it to put a 150 in. I'm gonna show you how to do that. First thing, to get to the motor you have to uh, Thank you for watching episode two of the GY6 Honda Ruckus build series. If you want more build series, check this thing out. Honda Street Cub. It's got the big old wide fat tire. This is a new series that we started last month. Super popular in uh, Asia. Oh, just so you know, this motorcycle is the most produced motorcycle slash scooter ever made. There's over a million of them. Super popular in Asia. Pumped about this build. Meanwhile, Putting these wheels, sweet wheels, on this Honda Ruckus. This is our. This is this is my 232 Ruckus. Check it out. It's got the uh, fuel injection. Fuel injection. Oh yeah. A little bit of everything. Custom wiring harness. And thank you for watching all my videos, subscribing, and let giving me the ability to do this cool stuff that I do every day. Thank you. Appreciate it.